One of the greatest guitar collections in the whole wide world, as we mentioned. The instruments belong to billionaire Jim Ursay, who owns iconic, iconic guitars that belong to the likes of Prince, Janis Joplin, Johnny Cash, and John Lennon. Vlad Dutier traveled to the Colts headquarters in Indianapolis to see the collection and learn why Ursay feels it is so important to share it. The 1969 Fender Mustang, played by Kurt Cobain in Nirvana's iconic 1991 Smells Like Teen Spirit music video. Ringo Starr's drum set during the Beatles debut on The Ed Sullivan Show. The guitar that ushered in Bob Dylan's electric era. After he played it at Newport Folk Festival in 1965. Just to be in proximity to these instruments is kind of <laughs> no question. I mean, it's like, And you, you take know, it on the road for people I mean, to feel the way that I feel. And the interesting thing about guitars is because of the heritage of these and the providence, they're special. The guitars are all part of the Jim Ursay collection, estimated to be worth around $100 million. At the heart of the collection, music. For Ursay, the owner of the Indianapolis Colts, collecting guitars is a sport. 66 countries on the call with Christie's and all that stuff. 66 countries on the call for this yeah. David Gilmore Stratocaster. Yeah. The rush of acquiring a guitar is like game day. Getting to share them with the world, the Super Bowl. You know, I'm kind of like Willy Wonka or, or you know, the wizard of behind the curtain. You know, my, my thing is to make the show as great as it can be. Live, it's the Jim Ursay Band. Ursay travels the country with his band. In the day performing free concerts with guest musicians who play some of his most expensive and famous guitars. Like this 1969 Fender Stratocaster known as the Black Strat. Played for decades by Pink Floyd's David Gilmour. At Ursay's recent concert in San Francisco, rocker Kenny Wayne Shepherd played the Black Strat. <laughs> worth around $4 million for a crowd of more than 5,000 people. These guitars, unlike, you know, manuscripts or something like that, you know, they become alive when they're played. One of the most recognizable guitars in Ursay's collection Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead's 1979 Doug Irwin, known as Tiger. You see yourself more as a steward of all of these artifacts. No I mean, question. you own them, but really, you're taking them on the road. You want people to experience them. You want people to feel the joy. I look at it as I own nothing because you never see a hearse pulling a U-Haul. You know, it's like, it's like, I mean, you know, but as you get older, you get more of a position of service. It's a service of the arts to the community. Okay. Ursay's path to Colt's ownership began with his father, who purchased the team in 1972 after amassing a fortune in a family heating and ventilation business. He infamously moved the team from Baltimore to Indianapolis. When Robert Ursay died in 1997, Jim Ursay inherited the team and his father's wealth. He began collecting. The collection also includes other historical artifacts, like Abraham Lincoln's pocket knife, Jackie Robinson's game-used bat, this lottery ticket signed by John Hancock, and Muhammad Ali's championship belt. Ursay has become the curator of his own traveling museum, showing off his collection free of charge. One of the items that means the most to him, this original Alcoholics Anonymous manuscript that lays out the 12-step program with handwritten notes. Explain to me why you wanted that and why you're showing it to people. My grandfather died of alcoholism in 1927. Uh, you know, my father died of alcoholism. And, and, you know, so when you have the gene, it's a very difficult thing. Ursay has been open about his own struggle with addiction and his sobriety. When you recover, you want to do what you can to help those, you know, because right now, today, there's just, you know, millions out there struggling. Ursay says he understands how hard life can be. 
and that's why he likes to give others an escape. But I think when people gather, for instance, you know, for a three-hour football game or for seeing these artifacts in a concert, you're released from sort of that worry and angst that can follow you around. Here I am on the road again. The 63-year-old hopes to open a museum, but for now, he plans to keep sharing his collection on the road for free. Here I go playing star again with anyone willing to listen. Yeah. Turn the page. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Well, good job, that man. That was awesome. <laughs> Earth Day's next concert will be in Las Vegas in March. The concerts are free, but you do not, you do need to sign up ahead of time so they know how many people to expect. A donation is optional to go toward kicking the stigma. Earth Day's organization that raises awareness about mental illness. That's a great cause, Vlad. You're a very happy boy in there, man. Yeah, Johnny so Unitas cool. could have come back from the dead and walked through the room. And you <laughs> I would have been like, who's that? Car, Let me see yeah. that David Gilmore Strat yeah. or now, Jerry Garcia. You've seen some collections. Yes. How impressive was this? This is one of the most impressive. Really? I mean, the one thing that, you know, we talked about is Jimi Hendrix's iconic Stratocaster from Woodstock, the white Stratocaster that he played at Woodstock. Yeah. And Paul Allen was the one who eventually won the auction for that guitar. Um, it's sort of like one of the holy grails He was of another guitars. team owner, too. Yeah, he was in uh, the he Seattle Seahawks. 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 Right, Seahawks. Yep. right. Um, and uh, and uh, so he, he, he talked about going into these auctions and competing against other people who want these iconic instruments, but also the Alcoholics Anonymous, uh, Anonymous manuscript, mm. um, Jackie Robinson's bat, mm. James Brown's boots. I mean, and the cool thing is he takes these collections on the road so that people can see them yeah. and experience them. You don't yeah. have to go to a museum in Indianapolis to get it to see them, you can see them in your hometown. Because as he said, again. even with all the billions he owns, you can't take it with you when no, you're gone. I so love that quote. Right. 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 Well I love that quote. Cool. Although I wouldn't mind just a little bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> it was good to see you in your element. Yeah, well, thank you. I didn't know that song. He said to me, do you know this song by Bob Seger, Turn the Page? I was like, no. He goes, all right, I'm just going to, it's E, A. <laughs> and I'm like. I think he found the latest go. member of Seldon Tate. I think he's the next member of your group. All right. <laughs>